OSJ Foundation, Olubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation. According to statistics from UNICEF and the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria is a country of the young, with almost half of the entire 180 million population, that's 46%, currently under the age of 15. This places a huge burden on education and its existing resources and infrastructure. Nigeria now has about 13 million out-of-school children, one out of five in the world, the world's highest number. Primary school enrollment has increased in recent years, but net attendance is only about 70% due to parents' poverty and inadequate school infrastructure, amongst others. 51% of Nigerian students aged 5 to 17 are also involved in child labor, thereby increasing the risk of dropouts. In response and in partnership with other global and local stakeholders, Nigeria is pursuing attainment of goal number four of the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs to ensure inclusive and quality education for all by the year 2030. Two key targets include building and upgrading education facilities for safe and effective learning and to substantially expand the number of scholarships available by the year 2020. The task is daunting and will only be accomplished with the concerted efforts of every Nigerian who is passionate about the youths and the future of the nation. The Olubi and Sarah Jensen Foundation is an inspired answer to this clarion call. We must realize that a nation is the people. I am Nigeria. You are Nigeria. We are all Nigeria. So we must choose to be different. So Nigeria can be a land of hope, a land where dreams and opportunities are given to every child, irrespective of circumstance of birth, to aspire and realize his or her vision to make Nigeria a land of greatness and prominence again. Our ethos in Olubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation is leading is giving and giving is leaving. As described in the message version of the Holy Bible, our Nigerian youths are that generation that will be known as those who can fix anything, restore old ruins, rebuild, renovate, and make Nigeria a technologically advanced community livable again. The Olubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation is a vehicle designed by God and dedicated to provide better infrastructure, thus creating an enabling environment for community schools, provide scholarship awards, and foster opportunities for educational training to pupils from these schools, thereby nurturing hope and helping them to realize their dreams, achieve, and succeed. My father, the late Obelio of Ishiri, Dr. Kamuru, Ola Olorun Shanti came from a humble beginning. But he was very smart. He was very clever. And if not for the help received from the community, he would never have been the father that I had and gave me the opportunities that I had. He went from the community in Shuri Mushi in Jebu to King's College on a scholarship. And from there, he went to Edinburgh for a first degree in vet medicine. And from there, went for on his master's and did his PhD from Cornell University, all on scholarships. So we grew up throughout our lives, realizing that we owed, we were debtors. We needed to do something for someone and help others. And so, being opportuned and blessed and favored. We have a school, Lifeford International School, built slightly outside the city. And you would have thought a school like that would have good schools all around. But we were shocked and amazed at what we saw. There was a time I went around and I found children 
receiving classes, physics classes, under a tree. And it cut through to my heart. And I just wondered, what can we do? I thought that was bad until I saw a worse situation, which was in fact injurious to the lives of the children. We saw a building. The, the roof was caving in. Any little wind, those children could have been hurt. I couldn't sleep. And thankfully, married to a man with the same heart for the needy. And we then said, Something must be done. Something must be done. Just a little step. A little step at a time. And if each and every one of us in Nigeria would just do a little at a time, the whole community will, that, will be that enriched. And so that was the beginning of Olupi and Sarah Johnson. In April 2018, the OSJ, Olubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation, was founded by Pastor Olubi Johnson, PhD, and his wife, Dr. Mrs. Sarah Johnson. The foundation was founded as a vehicle for them to give back to the society, as well as contribute to the enhancement and advancement of public education, especially in their immediate community and in Nigeria at large. It all began in 2018, and between 2018 and now, what we have been able to achieve is nothing short of a miracle. We believe that given the right environment, accompanied with sufficient motivation for learning and development, children, regardless of their background, can pursue and attain academic success. That's the purpose of this foundation, to create funds that will help develop infrastructure and uh, for local community schools around us and give scholarships to students and pupils who otherwise would not be able to further their education. I remember uh, last year, went to a particular school and there was a boy whose both his parents were dead and he, they were going, he was going to drop out of school and the principal wanted him to continue but the funds weren't there. So when we were told, we gave him a scholarship. That's just an example. So scholarships are very important. There are many children who have the uh, mental ability but if there are no funds, and they, 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 they will not be able to continue their education. This is in line with the thinking and the ethos of our founding fathers in Nigeria, in particular, uh, late Chief Obafemi Aulo, who saw the vital importance of education and provided free education uh, in the Western region uh, back at that time. Many, many, in fact, a large number, significant number of all our intellectuals in Nigeria today benefited from that scholarship foundation, including my father-in-law that uh, my wife had spoken about uh, earlier on, Dr. Kamoru uh, Adekunle Shanshi. Accident of birth should not limit a child from realizing their full, the full potential that God has put into their minds and into their hearts simply because of a lack of funds and enabling environment. And so the Olubi Sarah Johnson Foundation is uh, a vehicle that God has designed that we can use to provide uh, funds to give them this enabling environment, this infrastructure, this scholarship to help them realize their full potential. We currently focus on two key and important areas that seek to address certain identified educational needs in public schools in the community. These are education infrastructure development and awards of scholarships. Ulubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation, OSG, um, it's, it's uh, set up basically to focus on two different areas in, uh, in public schools providing infrastructural development and providing scholarship. On the infrastructural de development, it varies from providing um, usable classrooms 
um, tables and chairs, borehole, toilet facility. And it, it actually varies from renovating unsafe classes to providing a brand new classes. We started with three schools, all at a go. Um, to the glory of God, the, um, the Akufo Community School was completely done. That was commissioned May last year. The project has uh, bring a lot of improvement right, to this school, so, so to say. Now, to first uh, state uh, it to the students, right, we have many students that have run away from the school. Uh, they are not coming to the school because of poor facilities. Most especially the classroom that we had then uh, is with uh, detached, uh, a tattered uh, roofing sheet, whereby sitting under the classroom, you'll be feeling it, even sun will be beating you, rain will be beating you. Until when this foundation come up with this renovation, uh, our students, the attendance of our students has greatly improved. Many that have run away, they return back to school because they want to study, they want to learn under a conducive environment. And I would like to tell you that this project, right, has seriously uh, encouraged all these students to be in class. They learn under conducive environment, they sit down quietly, and they were able to grab all what teacher, all what they are teaching them. And to teachers as well, it has really helped us. If you see the classroom, you will see a board, blackboard, well fixed. And not that one alone, the class is so spacious that when you are teaching students, even you yourself, teacher, you can hear your voice by yourself. You know what you are passing across onto students. And from all this past year, we can now see that in the academic performance of the students, there has been a lot of improvement. Not only that, the project has also uh, instilled a great reputation of the school in the heart of the community dweller. If you go to Akufodan there now, even they can boast of this secondary school with this project that we have here, that yes, this school is having enough capacity to cater for students and to the principal and to the management of the school this renovation that was done by Olubi and Sarah Foundation has seriously even helped uh, the principal to be able to boast of higher population of students to come down to this place so that they have enough uh, capacity to take care of them. I'm one of the teachers using the project and the project have really improved the standard of education of the student. It, it is a spacious place. The students are not too congested in the classroom. The, 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 the ventilation there is very okay and the students are able to learn in a good atmosphere. My teachers, they are in a bit of uh, loving good things. Since they have seen that blocks, they prefer to go and teach the students in those classes than the dilapidated uh, buildings. We really thank, thank the foundation because the building is very conducive and ventilated. And when it comes to learning, the place is only give us a good reason to perform better in our studies. It has been so helpful to us it is where it is very ventilated. The teachers also found it easy to teach us very well. This project has really done a great uh, thing. It has really bring a lot of improvement to the life of the students, to the life of the teachers, and to the community dwellers as well. We have benefited from everything. For instance, in the aspect of infrastructure, Tolubi Johnson and Sarah Federation has helped us to erect a story building of six classrooms and two offices in the school. In addition to that, they provided borehole and a very big generator 
for the school. That is on the aspect of infrastructure. On scholarship, they have been able to help our children. For instance, JSS3 students, during the second term, they used to take some of our students, give them training in preparation for their final examination, which is Becker, Basic Education Certificate Examination. Olubi Johnson and the Sarah Foundation has been helping us on that line. They will take our children, give them afternoon lesson. Even at the place, they will feed them during the period. That is on one aspect. On another aspect, the foundation has helped to provide fund to some of our children in this school. In fact, our head boy is being sponsored by this uh, foundation. They pay this uh, WAEC fee. The jump fund was purchased by this uh, foundation. For us as a teacher, in the past, we used to lump up students in the classroom, as many as possible, because the infrastructures are not so many. But now, with this project, we've been able to have more spaces for our students. So that this has made teaching and learning easier than what we had in the past. Like SS3, our SS3 students, they have um, enough spaces for them. We have enough spaces for them now. Uh, for our students, some of them find it easier to learn under this roof than what we had in the past. We have whiteboard marker. This has also made teaching easier for us. In the past, I think the, the class they use in SS2, we had what we call chalkboard. There have been so many impacts the project have had on the school. For number one, I'll talk about the, the, the conduciveness of the, of the project on the students because before we, we have them uh, clumped together in classrooms and since uh, the, the building has been given to the school, um, there is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction between the student and the pupils. The students too, they, they are far much comfortable. That building has gone a long way in helping our academic life as follows. To start with, it provides conducive environment of learning. Unlike before, our class rooms are not conducive enough for us to learn. But to, due to the new building built, uh, built for us, we have been able to have conducive environment of learning. Two, spacious environment of learning. Unlike before, where students are many, the population of students in the class is now reduced. So it enables proper management of class by the teachers and as a nation, an easy examination of what is being taught by the students. And first, I would like to thank the OSJ Foundation for the privilege given to us all. Because the building has really helped us in this school because unlike before, there is no space, no, no accommodation, but now there is easy accommodation, there is easy assimilation that if we read, we can read to understand. We easily get what teacher has been teaching us. So I thank Ms. Um, OSJ Foundation for the privilege given to us. I am one of the beneficiaries which benefit from OSJ Foundation. Firstly, I would like to thank OSJ Foundation for the building they provided for us. The building has helped us in the following ways. The building, which is six, class, six block of classroom and two offices, is well spacious and well ventilated. Thus, it increases our effectiveness in learning. Secondly, the building helps in our learning habits and skills. And thirdly, the building also beautifies our, the school surroundings. During the time of uh, handing over of the story building to the school, so the Baba and Mama, they came, when they came to the school, they met the boy and the, the former principal of the school now introduced the boy to them and they were told of his uh, problems and that is how the Baba and Mama Olubi Johnson 
accepted to sponsor his education? Our target is to give at least five scholarships every year to students who has academic potential and also come from a parent with a low, low standard of living who cannot pay their school fees. And actually we started um, one student in the um, in Orison Community School who has no parent and uh, has good academic potential. Was, uh, was given a scholarship. Right now, I mean, we provided the tuition, we provided books, and uh, we paid for work, we paid for jam. The child uh, was actually, I mean, Came, came with an excellent result and is actually seeking admission into the University of Baron right now, which we are also working on getting in a good course. I'm very, very grateful for the scholarship. So the scholarship has gone a long way in helping my academics life. So with the help of the scholarship, I have the hope to further my education. I have the hope to go to any length in my academic life. So I pray as they do this, God will meet them in every area of their needs in Jesus' name. third one, which is going to be commissioned, that is our water Harami, is going to be commissioned shortly. We started um, CAC um, School 2 and 3. Without external financial support in such cases, these children stand at a risk of being poorly educated, underperforming and in extreme cases totally dropping out of school. We seek to partner with government and other community education stakeholders towards improving education facilities and learning environments in disadvantaged public schools. Looking back on what we have achieved, we we source uh, funding is from board of trustees, private individuals, and the like. Our bit of, based on our projection and our target in, in the future. We are not looking at five students, we are not looking at ten students, we are looking at students in the neighborhood of 50 hundreds. And, uh, we need to be able to to be able to meet up at every point with our obligations. We should continue in doing good. We should not be tired because what they are doing is having a positive impact on these children, and these children will never forget what they are doing. And it is a great reward. We, there is a great reward for what they are doing, and I know that God Almighty. We bless them for everything they are doing. I really appreciate them for their support because without them, especially this school would have been a very, you know, a situation that we may not uh, like. Well, I want to encourage the members of the foundation to just continue doing the part of God, which they are already doing already. That they should think of so many things they can also do to impact positively into the people of the society. Uh, this will go a long way in affecting our society positively. And the result might not be now. Look at what Baba Olawa did some decades ago. The result is here now. I would like to uh, still encourage those that are supporting this foundation that please don't rest on your horses, right? Still move on because we have many less privileged students here that really want to learn 
But what is making them to run away is as a result of poor facilities like classrooms, like all those technological gadgets that can really attract them right, to study. So if this thing continues, if such a project like this will continue, I want to tell you that we have great brains here. They are raw materials that if they are well processed, you will see great leaders. In the course of two and a half years since its founding, OSJ Foundation has impacted four schools, nine classrooms renovated, 12 new classrooms built, and over a thousand students are benefiting from all these projects just in their first school year alone. gives us so much joy to see children being able to enjoy facilities hitherto they were not able to enjoy. It reminds me of a story of children who had no toilets to go to and had to learn to discipline themselves not to use toilets or to go outside to use toilets. But now they have pipe on waters, greater hygiene and greater number of classrooms and makes life a little more easier. As the foundation grows and develops, you know, it will go beyond our immediate environment to the whole of Oyo State, Nigeria and the world. Uh, there are children all over the world who require help with their education. They have the brains, they have the intellect, but they don't have the resources. It was John F. Kennedy who said that, you know, uh, don't ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And this is what we can all do for our country. We all start in our little neighborhood. And if each or if all of us, as God has blessed us, you know, contribute our own little quota, what will happen is that there will be a, a, a multiplier effect. And many of the social problems we're experiencing in Nigeria today, because children did not have the opportunity of having a good education, will be eradicated. To ensure the perpetuity of the OSJ Foundation and the sustainability of its initiatives, the foundation has thus far invested over 25 million in the stock market and currently holds 500,000 units of Zenit Bank shares, 500,000 units of Guaranteed Trust Bank shares, 400,000 units of Access Bank shares, and 200,000 units of First Bank shares. Proceeds from these will be used to fund and sustain the foundation's interventions. Olubi and Sarah Johnson Foundation supporting educational needs of students in Nigerian public schools.